The Jay Porter Shaw Library is one department of the San Francisco Maritime National Historical Park. We own ships, art, artifacts, and the center of information, the center of understanding what all those things are is here in this library. One of the things that's wonderful about the J. Porter Shaw Library is that our collections are friendly. You can touch the books, you can touch the old books, you can feel the imprint of the lead upon the page. You could smell this, these books that have existed for centuries. This place represents the sea, the ocean, everything that's free. From what I've been able to uh, scan over the collection here, uh, yeah, there's a, just a wealth of information on the Pacific Rim. And this is like one of the main places that I come to, that I'm drawn to. The place itself, there's a lot of historical mementos that hang from the walls. Glory of the Seas, that's one of the trail boards that was on the actual ship. I mean, that was on the Glory of the Seas. I'm coming from Germany, from Frankfurt, and I'm very interested in Robert Louis Stevenson and his book Treasure Island. Well, I'm here uh, researching a, a historic novel that I'm, I'm working on around the gold rush. Here we are, shipping intelligence. Where, where, where? Right here. Oh, okay. And that tells you the ships that left that day, and it tells you the ships that arrived. The ship chart, it shows where all the ships left, and the ports of call, and when they arrived in San Francisco, and there are books on shipwrecks of the Golden Gate. One of the things I love about going into the Maritime Library, you can find what you want, and you could find ten times what what you want. You can find multiple images, paintings, graphics, photographs of what you're looking for. We have staff to prepare uh, copies of photographs, copies of vessel plans, uh, copies of maps and charts. Our library is used by genealogists, researchers and scholars writing books and articles, by attorneys prosecuting cases having to do with navigational waters, uh, interior decorators, uh, divers who have found a treasure ship or want to find a treasure ship, model makers. When I'm in a library, it's a wealth of information, a wealth of of imagery, a wealth of opportunity for me to touch, to open, go places that I never would have dreamed of going. That would be like space exploration. Uh, that was how Whaley was viewed. Barbara Johnson Whaling Collection. This is a resource for the study of whales. It's also a resource for the study of the old time whaling and its evolution into modern whaling. And it's also a resource for the study of the sociological impact of whales and whaling through time. In the old books and in the fine pressed books of today, you see care and humanity and, and very often perfection. There is evidence of the, the genuine there. This maritime library here records and documents and has on hand for the people to actually see records, pictures. You could touch it, you could feel it, you could, you could spin the globe, you could go literally anywhere you want to go in the world when you're within the library. Things from ships that, that are now hanging on the walls that are mounted to the floor, that capstan over there, just truly amazing. It's not on a computer screen, it's here in real life for people to experience.